Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another action figure collection video on the Shardimus Prime action figure collection video of 2017. You can see right here I have the Conan Spider-Man Homecoming vinyl pop from Funko and I did do a trade with this one when I get, uh, when I went to see Conan O'Brien and then we got the War Machine diecast figure from my friend Amita. We have some Rock Lords right there. Galvatron is here for some reason. And then I have my G1 Dinobots. I just need Swoop. Swoop is the last one. All of these are kind of broken in some kind of way. So, yeah, if anybody knows of a Swoop out there, uh, you know, for a decent price that's, you know, possibly broken, sure, I'll buy it. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. But, uh, yeah, that figure tends to break a lot. But that's all the figures that I have in my bedroom. So, let's move on over to the office. And that's not the office. This is the office. Oh wait, I want to show, I have some Kotobukiya statues in here uh, that I am moving and there are uh, more statues in here that are being moved because this room right here will be Emma's room. So uh, another reason why I'm, you know, doing this collection video is because I'm moving stuff out of here and this room is a disaster. Um, I, I didn't even really clean up my Hot Toys shelf all the way. Uh, as you can see, Captain America right there is down. Oh, jeez, what, what are you doing down there, Cap? Uh, and of course, this is going to all be dusted when all these figures are moved. So we have the Guardians figures right there. And we got Spider-Man, Darren Affleck, uh, Bruce Banner, Thor. You know, this part of my collection really hasn't changed much. Uh, we have there's Charlie the One and Stan Lee. Look at Stan Lee. Stan Lee! You're putting your hand all the way around my wife's waist like that? Damn, dude. Damn. But yeah, he's known to, you know, like the pretty ladies, so. And Charlie the One is definitely a pretty lady, so. Uh, comic books, uh, Thrawn, more Kurobukiya stuff, uh, coming. And then comic books and statues and Play Arts Kai and Bishojo's and Star Wars and more statues. So, uh, more comics and stuff right up here. We have Hot Toys, Must Hot Toys, then Kotobukiya statues. It's a DC Collectibles Batman back there. Here's my Avengers shelf, which I'm really stoked about. This is the one I actually really try to make sure it stays looking top notch. I'm, I'm really excited about this one. I like that a lot. Very pleased with that. Then here's my Iron Man shelf right here. Looking pretty sweet, I think. Not looking too bad. We got Stan Lee and Wolverine. What? Ah, see, like I said, I hadn't cleaned this up, so they're gonna get moved right back down there. I spent a lot of time in the dork room, though. Uh, please believe me, I did spend a lot of time cleaning up. We have Boba Fett right there, and then some figures and things I need to review, and my drum pad right there, and my music that you know practice reading. There's the stuck-up dork hat, and then there's the stuck-up dork glasses SD card. Uh, the and oh my goodness this is all hella messy but it's going to get cleaned up because it's all moving out uh, you can see my my plaque my Shardimus Prime uh, registered copyright my college degree right there and then there's Mark Hamill punching me in the face and then Spider-Man poster comic book signed with all kinds of signatures from my favorite comic book writers and artists you could recognize some of them I still need Jim Lee's signature on that and then I got this from Isaiah and, and Corey so, uh, another thing that's going to go, and I just want to show off these posters right here, are these Bishojo statues from Street Fighter. Um, my brother uh, was living in Georgia for a while, and he's come back, so I'm going to give these to my brother, but he's not going to live too far away, so I'll be able to do comparisons, but my brother is a huge Street Fighter fan, so I'm going to give these to my brother, and uh, yeah, I'm going to miss them though. I'm going to miss them so much! Alright, so on to, um, oh, we got some statues given to a father and daughter pair. Uh, thank you. I can't remember your names off the top of my head, but thank you. And then we have the setup. Yeah, this looks so chanky. And there's interchangeable heads and things like that. This is after I cleaned up a little bit too, but yeah. There's the lights and lights and lights and big review station. This whole thing is going to have to move and it's going in the garage. So, yeah, there's some more DC stuff up here at the very top. Some DC Bishojos and some hot toys. This Kotobukiya Artifacts Wonder Woman just fits in so perfectly with those Hot Toys figures. That's, you know, I really hope, you know, Hot Toys has a lot to live up to, man. So, you got that Starfire. Still one of my favorites. We have some shard art up in here. I'm liking this. And I still love these two pieces right here. Robert, I sent you an email. 
like way late, man, but uh, I had lost your email address and then I sent you an email not too long ago, so hopefully you see it. Hopefully you see this video. And then here's a bunch of toys on the ground! Ah, oh, man! God, this guy must hate his action figures with the toys on the ground. A lot of these are for comparisons and extras and stuff like that. Same thing over here. So yeah, figures on the ground. I got this from Mexico. Been meaning to hang it up. Right there. And then we have the Walking Dead shelf over here, which is almost you know, completely ruined. Uh, this is going to get moved out, of course. And uh, I got my Green Ranger fixed, so I did make that fix right there, but I don't have them on display in the dork room. But this is all going to get moved, and things are going to get rearranged, and what? Oh my goodness! So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I got this Star Wars uh, poster from D23, two years ago, I think. Then some more shark art, and then this is the drawing that my brother did for me. When I hit 100,000 subscribers, he was really stoked for me. So, yeah, pretty sweet. And then, oh, this was sent to me a while ago. And then we have some Avengers right there. And then we have the original Shardimus Prime image on the door. Uh, originally, Shardimus was going to be a Decepticon. So, there's that, drawn by Guido Guidi, who did tra uh, Transformers art. My brother's Psylocke and Rodin's um, uh, Queen of Hearts good right here and then we have the dark room what there's nothing on you know the ceiling what happened to all the figures on the ceiling man oh there they are all right so yeah starting with the spider-man uh not a whole lot of different stuff going on here you know and uh, got some changes right over here got the new punisher right there i added the ben riley spidey and then you can see the vulture trying to show off as much as I can in here. And then we have the homecoming figures. Woohoo! Oh, that right leg on Spider-Man needs to be readjusted. <laughs> then we have the McFarlane Hobgoblin. Where's the McFarlane Spidey? That's Spidey uh, Spider-Girl. We have the new uh, Mary Jane Watson figure right there, swinging with the McFarlane-style Hasbro Spidey. Love that Doc Ock. It's taken me a long time to finally totally realize it, but yeah, Doc Ock is definitely my favorite Spider-Man villain. We got Jameson newspaper somebody sent me. Got Silk going after, oh, she's supposed to be going after Black Cat. Let's see if I can just turn that in. Kind of, kind of. Got Jameson with the chameleon body. We have Hammerhead, added the Tombstone, build a figure Rhino, fearsome foes of Spidey going after the all new Spidey. I have Cosmic Spidey kind of, you know, drifting from the Spider-Man section into that Cosmic section. Spider-Gwen, Green Goblin, Fearsome Foe Spider-Man, Toxin, Venom, and uh, Danielle from Mexico. Da well, not Danielle, but Daniel, like Daniel from Mexico. I, I still have the, uh, the Venom figure, but I don't have him on display here, bro. But thank you so much. I'm gonna find a spot for him soon. I got both Spidey 2099s right there because in the comics it's recently been revealed. Uh, spoiler alert that uh, this one right here with the original costume is now uh, Miguel's son. So I thought that was really cool. So now we can have both costumes side by side. And then we have the, uh, the Spider UK figure right there. And yeah, we got some Watchmen, Princess Leia, some random figures on the wall right here. Spy vs. Spy, that was given to me by my father-in-law. And then, oh my goodness, all these toys right here in the boxes and stuff. This is so messy, but it's actually more or less organized. I go through here, you know, for comparisons, so I have them organized accordingly. Um, one thing I, I wanted to mention in this video is, you're, you're gonna see, in the, oh, these are all my badges from different conventions. Yeah, I hang on to these. So, um, you know, some of you, in with, with a non-hater perspective, must see all these figures right here and think to yourself, why the heck does this guy have a Patreon account? Like, why is he asking his fans to buy figures for him? He has so many figures already. He's making millions of dollars on YouTube. Why would he ask his fans to buy him action figures? Why would they? he ask for donations so he could buy more figures? He's got to be the greediest bastard on earth. And, and my answer to those thoughts, which are very good questions, and very, uh, that's a logical way of thinking. It's like, 
seeing somebody rolling around in a pool of gold coins and then asking for a dollar. It's like, well, well what? It doesn't make sense. By the way, uh, yeah, my biggest fail right now in my collection is that I misplaced the double-edged lightsaber for, uh, for Darth Maul. And I know I have it somewhere, but I'm really pissed off that I can't find it at the moment, but I will find it. Thank you, uh, Theron, for the Darth Vader right there. So this is my second Star Wars shelf. Or I have a few, actually, but I just want to pan back right over here so you could get a better look at that whole Spider-Man display before we zoom in and move on. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of figures, man. Well, there's my head. Yeah. So I just want to... Woo! Okay. So, um, yeah, the Patreon thing isn't to help me buy more figures. I don't have a hard time getting a hold of figures. As you guys may already know, it's like I have sponsors and I have companies that send me figures to review and stuff, so it's not a matter of me having a hard time uh, getting the figures. It's just about not spending time on a on another job uh, and spending time making the videos. You know what I mean? So it's like the, the money has to come from somewhere and I was looking for my bottles and I couldn't find a bottle to put in his hand. I know I have them from Brazil with love given to me a while ago. Um, but it's just so I can keep making the videos, right? Like, so if I were to ask you to quit your job and just start making YouTube videos, you would think, well, I'm not going to do that. That's stupid. I, I, I need to pay my bills and stuff like that. I, I need to keep my job. And it's, and what's been going on with YouTube lately is that they're not paying out authors, uh, like they used to. There've been drastic cuts, uh, drastic losses, uh, in ads and things like that. So, uh, what was paying a lot is not paying so much and then another thought is well hey man YouTube dried up you know it's too bad you're not doing too well and nobody cares about your channel anymore you can't make money off of it so your YouTube channel is a failure but the YouTube channel is not a failure it's actually gaining more and more subscribers at a faster rate as time goes on uh, views have been fairly solid you know it's a little dipped down right now just because of the season because school's back in but uh, the channel's doing fine it's just the ads, you know, the YouTube is going through a hard time right now. So um, that's that's why I don't ask for donations so I could buy more figures. I'm I'm asking for help so I can keep making the reviews. So I've changed um, I've changed the uh, wow I love that Sunfire figure. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna stop talking about this in a minute because I want to talk about the figures right over here more. But um, I'm just saying that like. Uh, I want to bring back the big time letdown Spider-Man. Uh, oh no, no Jubilee, why? I really want to bring back uh, big time letdown Spider-Man uh, stop motions, and I, and that takes a lot of time to make those. So I've been working at getting more sponsorship deals, and uh, so I've brought down the threshold on my Patreon account uh, to only 500 patrons, uh, as opposed to I think it was like 1,900 before. So. Um, yeah, just 500 of you guys will help bring the stop motions back. And if you didn't like the stop motions that much, well, yeah, I don't blame you. That's okay. I just hope you guys like the reviews, you know? But anyway, uh, looking at the Scott Summers right over there, I decided to go with the Jim Lee look, and I did give that new head sculpt to the Jim Lee Jean Grey right over there, because I actually would rather have had the Phoenix figure, but I needed to match the Cyclops, so... Yeah, that's I went that way. I may change this and go with the classic Cyclops and the Phoenix later on. And I dropped the cards. I had him holding Joker playing cards at one point. We saw Danger. Love that rogue figure. And ah, oh, Puck, you fell! Ah, oh, you bastard! Uh, he was standing there for so long, he knocked over Colossus a little bit. This has taken me weeks to get this display going, man. I mean, if you guys have been following the P.O. Box pickup videos, okay, that's like a little sloppy. So this needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Colossus is clearly falling over. But yeah, that is the X-Men shelf. I'm pretty stoked about that. Next is the Marvel Knights shelf. And this whole shelf right here may be replaced by that Hot Toys shelf that you saw in the other room. Let's start from the back over here. Uh, you can see Moon Knight, you know, kicking over uh, this whole thing, knocking over some ninja. Um, hand ninjas and it actually kind of fell over but it looks kind of cool still we have the Toy Biz Daredevil versus Bullseye then the original Fantastic Four a lot of this stuff is the same a lot of this stuff has not changed man and that's kind of new we do have Spider Bitch versus Old Man Logan so Toy Biz Series 6 Deadpool versus Toy Biz Series 6 Wolverine 
custom Deadpool, thank you so much. We have the Hasbro Deadpool versus the Hitmonkey. And then we have the the new Hasbro Deadpool versus the new Cable. And then Punisher versus Jigsaw. Punisher versus Jigsaw. Misty Knight versus Mystique. I don't know, just because those names go together. And I have the Hasbro Daredevil versus the Hasbro Bullseye. And then thank you, Nick, for giving me this over in Georgia. Thank you. We got the variant Iron Fist alongside with the Hasbro Electra, which shouldn't have been fallen over. And somehow this Daredevil, well, I guess Daredevil's kind of leaning against Punisher over here, but I have Daredevil kicking the back. And somebody sent me this custom Night Thrasher, which I love. And we have Nuke right over there shooting at Daredevil's balls. Yeah, so that's appropriate. And then we have Omega Red with the, one of the worst Wolverine figures <laughs> ever. And then we have uh, the Hulk and Thor shelf right over here, slash uh, Ultimate Avengers and Dark Avengers. So a lot of stuff going on over here. There's that Icon's Daredevil being used as a giant man, custom without any customizing. But I did customize that Wasp over there to look like Ultimate Wasp. And then we have the select figures right over here in Marvel Legends. And you can see Scourge versus my custom uh, Sharon Carter right there. We got Lady Loki, we got Ulick, a lot of STCC exclusives over here that I haven't reviewed yet. We have the Dark Avengers. You can barely see them, but there's the new bullseye head sculpt on the Hawkeye <laughs> all the way back there. And then that's the old Ares figure. And then we have Boar and Odin facing off with Hela. And then the STCC Thor against the STCC Malekith. And then the STCC Enchantress seducing Thor right there. Then we have Valkyrie versus Thundra. And then Uppercut from Captain America. Oh no! Tiger fell. Hitting crossbones right there. And then we have Battle of the Hulks. And we have the new She-Hulk right there, which I'm not a huge fan of. Oh, there's Black Widow being added to that. Select Hulk versus Select Hulkbuster. And then we have uh, the, the uh, Planet Hulk versus better Ray Bill and then moving down to this uh, cinematic universe Avengers shelf right here you can see we have the three three quarter inch figures and a lot of selects and it's hard to see the Falcon back there and then we have some figures in the back you know in those stand in those uh, in those uh, docking bays and then I've introduced the Hella figure and then we have Gladiator Hulk versus Thor right there and I have Mordo in the back, along with the Red Skull. And then uh, Fallen <laughs> Chitari Soldier. And uh, and then the Hulk fell over back there too. So I don't use Sticky Tack on my figures, by the way. That's uh, just a little thing of mine, a little pet peeve of mine. And then you can see if I open the glass right here, hopefully nothing falls over. So we have some selects and some Marvel Legends all mixed together. This classic X-Men look right here. So I like that. Not looking too bad. And then we have our monsters and ghouls shelf right here and demons and everything. So I decided to cave in and go ahead and give the new man thing a shot on the shelf. So I did replace it with my Toy Biz one even though I mentioned I like the Toy Biz one better. Uh, this guy is larger so I like how he takes up a bit of space and uh, so I figured hey why not go with that for a little while see how that goes. And here's the MCU shelf. I think this looks pretty sweet. I had to do a lot of rearranging because I added some non-MCU characters into this, like Marvel Custom Figs. Shout out again. Thank you again for that Wolverine or the Logan. And we have the, the Blade, the Toy Biz Movie Blade figure right there. I had to take out the Bruce Banner. That rocket right there. And Mantis and the Guardians. I did use that custom head sculpt that somebody gave me, the bloodied cap. Oop, looks like Star-Lord's not facing the right way. Oh, excuse me. I haven't really eaten much today. Then we have Doctor Strange up there, the new Groot, and the Scarlet Witch, and Thor and Falcon coming right at you. And then a comic book vision, still waiting on a comic book or MCU vision. And then we have War Machine right there. Looking silly. And then Hot Toys Giant Man. So I had to put away the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Giant Man so I could fit more figures on the shelf. Then we have the Iron Man shelf right over here. Woo! That's a lot of Iron Mans. Dang. A lot of Iron Mans. Yeah, so three three quarter inch figures right here. 
and then the uh, Tony Stark, the Robert Downey Tony Stark head on the uh, on the chameleon body, and then thank you Nick, sending the stealth Iron Man, and wow, this is just a lot of Iron Man figures. Thank you Solid for the Icons one. We have the Figma one right here, which I like. So a lot of Iron Man figures right here, Iron Skull. Then the Bishojo statues, all facing the correct direction, of course, all facing the correct direction, yeah. So, oh, this is not a Bishojo, that's a Diamond Select uh, Captain Marvel, which looks fantastic, by the way. But yeah, gotta love these, gotta love these. Absolutely beautiful. You gotta see, yeah. So, then we have the Watcher all the way up here, and I, I should be reviewing the, uh, the new Human Torch, by the way, that, that is going to be on the way soon. And then here's the classic Avengers shelf that uh, doesn't have Tiger added to it. Uh, she fell over. Dang it. I'm wondering if I could actually put this up in the video without, <laughs> without her knocking more stuff over. It looks like it's going to be kind of scary, man. I, I usually don't like to do this. I have, a, I have a whole process where I usually like have them stand up on a... Uh, uh, on my stool or something first, but and it looks like she's standing. You can see I added Bloodstone, of course we have a Hernandez, and we have the, uh, um, oh, I got to meet um, Monster Mash over at San Diego Comic Con this year. It was a pleasure meeting you, bro. You gave me this custom Valkyrie, which looks fantastic. And uh, we have some added figures to the collection. We have Monica Rambeau right there. We've got the new Captain Britain. So added figures. Got the new Black Panther. Goliath effect. Oh, tiny little Ant Man fell over, but we still got that growing effect. Looking a little sloppy. Have that growing effect right there with the yellow jacket. The new effects for Wonder Man. The old Wonder Man figure. New Ares up there. And then the old Falcon. We got the new Captain Universe. Sentry. We got Doctor Strange. It's Spidey. Thank you, Sean Long. We got Death's Head 2. The new Avengers, Wolverine in the back now, and then I added the Jessica Jones with the comic figures right here so I can get my comic defenders all in one spot, because I thought that looked pretty cool. Black Widow, Mockingbird, Hawkeye, that Hawkeye is the hardest one to set up on this display, that's why he does not have an arrow attached to him right now, but yeah. So moving along, we have the X-Men Villains shelf right here, not a whole lot of new going on. I did decide to go ahead and give the Hasbro figure a shot on display. So I figured, hey, you know what? I had the Toy Biz one up there for a long time. Give this new one a shot. I like it a lot still, so I said, hey, why not? Why not? So yeah, I've got a Polaris added over here and the new Juggernaut. So moving along to this Avengers versus uh, Avengers Villains shelf. Man. And you can see this wall is moldy. This is another reason why we chose to use the other room for Emma's bedroom. Because uh, this room does get moldy, uh, a lot more moldy than the other room. So I want to put her in the healthier room. You know? so got Thor vs. Loki right there. A lot of this stuff you guys have seen before, so I'm not going to go through all of it really fast. we got Darkhawk added. My neck and back are killing me, man. Oh, burn, Zemo, you fell over, you bastard. Ah. It's because that Bucky Cat mold has little feet. So, yeah, man. Added the new uh, Abomination in there. This is really cluttered. This is something that should really change in this room. <laughs> I have x Nihilo just tucked, tucked away back there. And I did add the Singularity to this. Even though I, I don't really consider her so much as a Avengers villain, but she is a tool used against the Avengers. And then we have the uh, all... The all new Avengers right over here, even though that Hawkeye is not really part of the group, but I liked including her. I don't know, I just like to include her right there. So that's the setup. And then we have some imports and Mezco Marvel figures right there. Standor. So I just want to show these off. Looks pretty cool. Spider Gwen, the Venom. Then the Shardimus Prime Married Man and Wife Customs right there. Thank you, Bill Mahoney. Thank you, Dave Wheeler, of course, for the one six scale. Then I got this in Mexico right over here. Which I still need to post up my Mexico video. I'll explain uh, more of that later on. And then, um, 
But, uh, and then looking right down here, this got a little bit messy. But you can see the selects right here along with uh, the Sentinel, uh, the Sentinel figures. And, ah, uh, shoot, okay. That's a terrible Black Panther pose, but I just wanted to show off this shelf right here. So, there's looking at that. Very dusty, needs to be cleaned. Then I have the M or not the MCU, but the cinematic Spider-Man villain set up right there. Thank you, High Man, for that big Venom right there. I guess I could add my Marvel Legends Venom, my new one, right there from Dan. Daniel. So there's that, a custom chameleon. Not looking too shabby. And then, moving on, we have the Ninja Turtles shelf. A lot of TMNT stuff going on. Nothing really new added over here. I have the SDCC exclusives actually in the garage, which I'll show off in a minute. Then here's some more DC. And or Watchmen stuff. I need to change that pose for Dr. Manhattan. That's my custom Invincible. And then we have Spawn right here, and then a bunch of Walking Dead. This is really hard to set up, but I'm really proud of this display. Really like it a lot. I think that's very cool. I made some changes to this DC shelf as well. Very pleased. Some new Mesco stuff in there, you know, Black Lantern. Blackest Night, and then here's some more. Ooh, sorry, the light's like really getting in, in the way, but I'm gonna move this right here like that, so you can see some more DC stuff going on right here. People think I hate DC because I love Marvel so much, but I don't. Batman's my second favorite superhero. My ultimate favorite villain is the Joker. So, of course, and thank you again, Andy, for the Mesco Joker. I still need to do a review on that. Love the SH Figure Arts Harley Quinn right there. We have the NECA Batman and Superman, the DCU figure collection. I have that Arkham backdrop right there from Diamond Select. So, yeah, man. So, that's. Oh, yeah, I can't forget the 66 Batman and Robin. STCC exclusives right there. Yeah, and the Batmobile at the bottom next to the ooze. We got the giant TIE Fighter, and I think I do have a TIE Fighter pilot inside. Sweet. Okay, these are a huge stack of your guys' letters, so you can see I keep all your guys' letters. It doesn't look like it's that big, but look at the stack. It's a pretty good sized stack right there, man. Then we have some other goodies right over here, which I'm not really going to get into. I did add a lot of aliens over here. It looks like some of them had toppled over, but it's, yeah, that, this was actually strategically placed, even though it doesn't look like it. And then we have uh, figure arts, monster arts right over here. It looks so badass. And then we have the DBZ shelf right there. Some new additions to that. And the Power Rangers SH figure arts, which are, to me, my ultimate Power Rangers figures. Attack on Titan, Sailor Moon, Spock, Bruce Lee. And then, this is the happiest I've ever been with this, uh, with this Star Wars shelf. I'm so stoked for this. I really like how this one came out. I'm, I'm pleased with how I have this set up. But I'm liking it. <laughs> Alright. And we have Darth Vader and his two TIE Fighter pilots. And then we have Emperor Palpatine and his two Imperial Guards. And then thank you so much for helping me get all these Chew. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then the Spidey shelf right here. This took a long time. And then, oh, I wanted to show off some of the stuff that we have on the side right there. Some more Spidey figures. You know, this was all taken down and then redone, and that pinky is... Ah, come on. There we go. Okay, that was irritating me. I still don't like that. It looks like he's trying to pet that other Spidey all the way in the back. But yeah, there's a big time left on Spider-Man. And then these Transformers right here, you've seen plenty of times before. I think Alfonso helped me complete these, so I have all the Seekers right there. Including the Coneheads. We have the constructor guns, and then a couple of masterpiece figures that I haven't really put in their proper place. Six shot right there, Metroplex. Again, again thank you, Sean Long. And we have the Legends class uh, Insecticons. Then we have these third party uh, Shark Decons, TRU exclusive Seekers. Yeah, Hasbro, Devastator. So a lot of stuff. Thank you, John 3.0, for the Menosaur still. 
And then here's the Autobots on the uh, on the shelf right here, Masterpiece Autobots. Pretty sweet, I think. Pacific Rim stuff hasn't really changed too much. And then the video game shelf right here. I still need to open my Vega figure from from way back. I have both of these two Contra figures right there. And then here's my Masters of the Universe shelf slash uh, Four Horsemen, Gothatropolis figures, and ah, uh, this Drago man fell over right there. A bit unfortunate. And we have like other movies and, and pop culture stuff like Firefly, Planet of the Apes, Ash vs. Evil Dead, or you know, Evil Dead, Heisenberg, Terminator 2. This is my WWE collection right here. Very small collection. So there it is. And then we have the Beast Wars. I still need to try to get a hold of those masterpiece Beast Wars, you know? I, I haven't picked them up yet. Um, but uh, I might eventually. I might get those. Uh, I'm not 100% sold on them, but I don't know. I would like to get them at some point. They're just not a huge priority for me right now. Movie figures, movie figures, more movie figures. Classics, Generations figures right there. And then we have the G1s. I did get Trailbreaker from San Diego Comic Con, or uh, Mexico City. That's right. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, and I still actually need hook. I need an actual G1 hook still. I've got my seekers right there. I think I'm just missing dirge from the G1s. And then here's the Masterpiece Decepticons looking awesome, especially with that legit Megatron right there. Very pleased with that. I have a laser beak on his shoulder. Yeah. So I'm very pleased with this. And I did order the uh, new Voyager, uh, Octane, and Blitzwing. And then I think that is everything from the Dork Room. It is a lot of stuff in here. But uh, we must move on to... Wow, this is, yeah, a lot of stuff in this room, man. But let's get on out of here. And we're going to move on down to the garage. So a lot of changes made to the garage and you can see I have alternators right down here. This is actually an old model car from my grandfather. And you can see more movie figures along here. Just kind of randomly added that die cast Batmobile. Uh, the, my Snakeman collection and then some WWE mutants added right here. Big thanks to Darren for the majority of these and Sean Long. I bought the Snakeman right that two-pack snakeman from Sean Long and then uh, big thanks to <laughs> I'm gonna show this off the camel con packaging right there I'm gonna add some more Walking Dead stuff over here we got Ash and Sin City right over there then some more Star Wars just a ton of Star Wars uh, my Rebels figures uh, Sabine fell over that frustrates me Jay and Bob and then I have my Star Wars Rogue One figures right there that's actually the diecast K2SO that I added then some Kotobukiya statues, we got the Deadpools, this is a Diamond Spider-Man statue, I want to keep that uh, variant Magneto, and that awesome looking Star-Lord, there's some Diamond statues, and we have Thor and Hulkbuster right there, and some Kotobukiya Attack on Titan statues, some Godzilla, Cap, uh, Civil War, and then the Artifacts Hulk, which I think is awesome. And then moving along up over here across the top. Oop, that's my drum set right behind me. Uh, this is all kind of just thrown together, man. But have the combiners mixed in here with some classics. And thank you, Alfonso, for the um, Armada Megatron. And more combiners. And there's a third party. Um, oh, shoot, where's. I forgot the, the name that they gave him, uh, but grotesque. And then we have some more Kotobukiya statues right here. Like that new Harley Quinn. Eh? Yep, 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 yep. I still have the rest of these I actually need to open. Batman v Superman. Some more Transformers. And oh wow, Sean Long gave me, th gave me this one a long time ago. Or he sold it to me, that's right, yeah. Put some more movie figures right there. And I'm going to rearrange the Auto or the Dinobot shelf. You know, I just reviewed that Scorn. 
We have some added selects right here. Oh, some of them kind of fell over. Need to fix that. Oh, even the Guardians, which I think look awesome. I have Silver Surfer with them right here. Here's the STCC Turtle set. Set these guys up. Then some more Star Wars. Force Awakens, and then we have some Goth Metropolis, this is kind of random right over here. And then the uh, the Power Zord, and then the TFC Devastator, which I should probably sell. And then we have the Playmates Ultron, which needs a better spot, but some other figures just kind of put in here to fill things out a little bit. And yeah, so here's some packaging right up across the top. We have Mesco boxes and Hot Toys boxes up there. Feral Rex boxes, STCC box, whoop, more exclusive boxes and things like that. And then the last bit is all the way over here. So, um, yeah, we have these coin uh, banks right here in Diamond, which I really like. And then all I need left now is the uh, Michelangelo from the quarter scale NECA Toys Turtles. We have the Pacific Rim 18 inch figures right over there and that rounds it all out so this is where the review station is going to go uh, this needs to be fixed up a little bit and everything this workbench was cut down these are my long boxes for my comics don't tell me I'm not a true fan look at all those comics and uh, yeah so here's a look at all of that again and oh yeah the quarter scale figures uh, from from NECA toys right there not really placed you know in the best way possible in the giant Godzilla so a lot of reorganizing and stuff to to go through still man and then I have a bunch of stuff that um, I have boxes and things of figures that I'm trying to sell so yeah again trying to drive the point home that um, I don't have a hard time getting figures oh it's just about maintaining the YouTube channel spending the time on the YouTube channel and a big thank you to Pixel Dan yeah I've been wanting to show this off for a long time I could not get rid of it but um, I had my friend Mr. Phil's pick up the Camel Con exclusive for me and when he brought it back Pixel Dan just littered it all over its comparison time I guess Pixel Dan is greater than Shardimus Prime right there and then big time badass Spider-Man <laughs> Suck it, Shardimus. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you, Pixel Dan. Thank you so much. So I had to keep this and <laughs> put it up like a trophy. All right, you guys. I hope you liked this collection video. Next time I do a collection video, it's going to be very different. So, yeah, stay tuned, and I should have a new review up tomorrow. Catch you guys later. Peace.